Nina Hoffman then leaves the star hunt for the Santa Cruz Syndicate, the German rider. She loves speed. Yeah. Disappointed at the UCI World Championships in Fort William a couple of weeks ago. Well, they'll be fighting here on this corner, but it's so hard. It's only one line and two corner in one, really. But we know that she loves speed, she loves to attack, and she's not afraid. Oh, she's not afraid of charging. Nearly horizontal in that right hander. Yeah, pretty composed. She, oh, <laughs> that breaking zone is it's bumpy now. You see, she loves the rear a little bit. And then you arrive into these rocks at warp speed, and all of a sudden have to adjust to them. Yeah, here it's like kind of one line you have to follow, but you have to be careful of all those rocks on the side. It's easy to lose a derailleur or have a mechanical there. Important to be really smooth on those corners. That new line, no road gap. This is new for them, but they've been riding this morning a little bit. And now we back on those technical corners, like switch back. But every switch back, you see the hits, you see the, the body language going through the suspension. It's hard because this is taking a lot of your energy. Hoffman then down through this twisty section before you really have to get off the brakes and have to open the bike up. That's where she's going to be good. She's not afraid and she's going to take the chance here. She's going to be flat out. Physically one of the strongest racers out there. Two tenths of a second fastest now for Nina Hoffman. The German on the move here in Andorra. Whoa, that, that's Whoa, skims that tree. When you see smoke coming out the back wheel, Whoa. means business. She'll have felt that tree just skim her up over eight tenths of the second now. Way inside, outside of the middle, and she's Whoa. back on the inside line. Oh, she's quick. Yeah, that's Santa Cruz V10 just being knocked around by the rock garden, but Nina kept the, the tiller straight and kept the sailing through. Oh, she been pushed a bit. She touched the protection. Nina Hoffman's going faster and faster here, you know. She's moving. 53 kilometers. 53 kilometers an hour, and we know that that one equals a fast first split, and there's 3.7 seconds towards Hoffman now. Told you she's not afraid when it's fast. Like an alpine skier down that piece section, heads toward the woods. Now what can Nina Hoffman do? Now it's a different kettle of fish all of a sudden. Inside line there, I think that's the quickest, because you, you get up really high after that wood section at the same corner, because you will carry all that speed into the last wood section. Grabbed a couple of pedal strokes on the way into the woods. Will they pay off as we head down towards the fourth split? 4.1 seconds now faster for Nina Hoffman. What an afternoon's race we're having in Palau and Sala Andorra. And so far she's keeping it together and we know when this happened to Nina, she's incredible. Yeah, she's got unfinished business. That knee's still not right, but she was disappointed with that UCI World Championship performance in Fort William. And maybe she's just saved that performance for here today. Yeah, that's good. Heads in the left-hander. Hoffman, are we going to see a new rider in the hot seat? Nina Hoffman down the line. Nina Hoffman fastest by 4.1 seconds in Palau and Sala Andorra. Tani Seagrave applauds it. First time we see her struggling a little bit. Then down to the line, is she going to take the win? Valentin Hall cross the line, she's 2.8 seconds. Steve is happy. This is, means a lot for the team and as well it's going to the boys, you know the boys like they have to race. Having a win in the batch then heads to second place, 222 points now behind Hull and maybe missing for some time. Hoffman, Cabaru, Afferton, Rasnick, Hemstreet, Seagrave up